Welcome back to Let's Play Oxenfree. Last time, we had a trippy time in town and even got an upgrade for the, uh, got an upgrade for the radio. Sorry, I saw that one of the letters was filled in, so. Okay, that's the thing that he read at the, uh, end of the previous thing, but yes, upgraded radio. So I'm going to have to uh, hunt the entire map for these things. Wait. Dang it, I can't remember the radio station she said to use. 140.1. Uniform. Echo. Eventually. Everything becomes a alpha. November. Tango. India. Quebec. Uniform. Echo. Eventually. Hmm. Everything becomes a Alpha. November. Tango. India. Quebec. Uniform. Echo. Eventually. Antique. Everything becomes a Alpha. November. Tango. Well, we India, did find those two antiques. Uniform. Echo. Eventually. I didn't fill in a letter. Everything becomes a Alpha November. Tango. Okay, I'm tired of listening to you repeat that. Well, that was strange. Um. Since there are a number of letters in the English language that sound similar, especially over transmissions or when there is interference or other sounds, military often uses different words for each letter, kind of like how people make the A is for Apple, B is for Bob, etc. Because, for example, B, C, D, E, G, P, T, they, Z, they all carry with them a similar sound that would make them difficult over a transmission line, especially when you're spelling something important, like co giving coordinates, directions. Ah, I don't know. I can't think of many good examples. I know there's uses for it. Everything becomes a... Where's the letters? Quebec. Uniform. Echo. Eventually. Yes, everything becomes an antique eventually. We, we got that part. I thought I was supposed to be looking for a letter, though. Everything becomes... We get the point. I mean, unless you're saying the letter is hidden in an antique. Hmm. That's caved in. I can't get to that. The tape player was another antique. So it wouldn't be there. Nope, wrong way. At the top of the hill, in the Charlie, Oscar, Lima, Oscar, Romeo, Echo, Delta, Field. Colored field? At the top of the hill. Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? I thought you said you were going to go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit? The sun is not out. The sun is... I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was going to be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah. What is it? Where's... where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? You want to know who Jonas is? He's my new stepbrother, okay? Do you... do you get what's happening now? Alright, can you just call your new friend your best friend for my sake? Stepbrother's kind of encroaching on my territory there. <laughs> yeah, it's like when my mom calls her cat her special little lady. It's like, I'm standing right here. What? 
Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knickknack shops or whatever. No, come on, Alex. Relax. No, we... I mean in this time period. Ah, oh, geez. You're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? It's like the worst time. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Carissa, doesn't this... Don't you remember we're all on the island? Nona's there. I love Nona like a three-legged puppy, but she would shrivel up and die in the sun. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's better off at home, trust me. <laughs> okay, then. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins English. Uh, it's been... I, I don't know. Soccer it's ball. been... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. Ten to one the moment he leaves. Her when I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> <laughs> Can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. So... <laughs> Do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? Our whole, like, island horror show. Ghosts and possessions and... And none of this is jarring like anything loose. If this is about Ren's movie, I mean, I told him I didn't want to do it. Half the script was an underwear scene, so, you know, no thanks. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I uh, totally understand. And yeah, let's uh, hmm. do stuff. She's being nice. You know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Ah, oh, Jesus, thank God you're back. It's like an eternity sitting here with this one. Ow. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Man, no, I know what she's talking about. Hey, I'm interesting. I'm entertaining. I'd crush a debutante's ball or whatever. <laughs> Thank you. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm going to run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? This is strange. Um, uh, yeah, get me a drink too. Sure. I'll be back. There's some odd little square okay, pattern I'm here. right What's there. What's the story? The I want the news. Moving. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I'm uh doing all right. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her. So, thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so <laughs> but I owe you. Yeah, no problem. Just. Don't get all smoochy smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? The her that's right now is somewhat friendly, so... Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. It feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, bucko. <laughs> bucko? You haven't called me that in years. And we're back. What did we miss? It'd be weird if I ended up on the beach. I'm also going to move this slightly off screen. Alex! Are you all right? Okay. Uh, 
Are you are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes. Do, do, do you know that? I mean, I let it go for the first two, but then it got stranger. I, uh, I, I don't know. What was I doing? Um, you kind of slowed down, then stopped. Then you were just shuffling your feet like you forgot how to actually move. And then you were kind of just muttering to yourself about, like, sandwiches or something. The whole thing was a weird little show, like you were having a stroke or something. I... I was? Yes, you said it doesn't matter what's in it. Potato chips always improve a sandwich. It was like to yourself. Whatever, as long as you're back among the living, let's just head to the gate, try the radio. But I have notes to find. Turn on the Lima, India, Golf, Hotel, Tango, for the ships coming home. Lighthouse. Turn on the... Well, how do I, I do... didn't know Maggie grew up in Maine. Oh, there we go. There's a similar statue of a soldier in Maine where I grew up. The memory of it is... I think part of the reason why I said yes when the army recruited me out of college, despite my family's protestations. Could have just said protests. Anna, my closest friend from childhood, was of course thrilled with the possibility of my escape. I anonymously started the petition in 1975 to have this one made, after the daughter of Canaloa crewman France his Salter asked. I don't know why, a marker maybe, for the hope I once had to help people. Okay. So I got that one. Alright, oh. Wait. Where am I at right now? You're saying I can't go back? Well, that's disconcerting. I already did that anomaly. Oh, okay, so once you find it... <sighs> oh, good. You didn't die. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the... well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but I guess it can open doors and gates and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we can open the gate? Yeah, we think. Ah, uh, good. How have you been? Any, uh... Terror? Yes. My terror has been keeping it kind of a mild simmer, so, uh, it's a win? Better than it could have been, I guess. But if the radio's the thing... Wait, where's Clarissa? We can't leave yet without her. Have you seen her or heard from her? Yes, but... Yeah, should we maybe look for her, possibly? Even if the boat plan works, we shouldn't leave her here. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? Yes. See you later. So are you going to try the gate thing, or... Dang it. I want to go... Explore. If we're still going to go to the house, let's just do it. Okay, try the radio, Alex. give me a minute. I'm walking here. Please have a boat, please have a boat, please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. I have notes to go collect though, so... We're gonna go this way. Where are you going? I thought we... Aren't we sticking to the... The find the boat and paddle away game plan? Maggie Adler left a bunch of mysterious mystery stuff all over the place, and I'm not leaving until I get my hands on them. <laughs> Seriously? 
That's like a concern. Okay, but uh, that kind of feels like a morning. No one is not even here. Sure. Okay, so we've got something in the colored fields. I assume that means open something related to open that door. I can't remember what the message was. There should be steal a boat and leave. Like I would do that. There are notes to hunt for. Well, I guess the first, the radio door I know of was in this area, so I ought to go here. I ought to go ahead and pause here, though, since we're past 16 minutes. So I will see you next time.